Okay guys, today we are hiking Lost Mountain. If you want to see beyond the main lookout, we'll be posting a part 2 of this video soon. The total distance of this trail is 6.3 kilometers, the trail type is loop, and it has a total elevation gain of 294 meters. This should take you around 2.5 hours to complete. If you are visiting this in the spring, the trail is usually muddy and soaking wet, so dress accordingly. Please let me know where you guys would like to see next, and I'll see you guys on the trail. video it's gonna be split up into uh, like many different days so I came here it's probably my fifth time coming here for this video a bunch of different things happened um, one time I deleted all the footage I had in one day because I thought I downloaded it deleted it tried recovering it by buying some program that didn't work came here another day with my lady there and then uh, I didn't want to hold us up by filming too much so then I accidentally deleted most of that footage so that really sucked too came here mid-afternoon another day and then there was um, there's way too many people here you know I've probably seen like 30 people here so if you don't want to see someone, I definitely come here in the morning or else you're going to be bumping into a bunch of people. So yeah, this is probably the first turn off. You know, you could go left. That's not where we're going. That's what it looks like. But we're going to go up this hill too. And I believe the next left is the way up to Lost Mountain is up there yeah I definitely want to be I want to get a mix of like vlog style in my videos not just all like cinematic and all this and that 
think it looks cool, but you know, I want I want a good balance between the two. Pretty fucking weird when the camera gets pulled out on me. So I'll be getting better at that. Just take some time. And I'm also trying to figure out how I could film with another person here. It's one I feel weird filming when I'm alone, but when I'm with someone, extra weird. Okay, so we just came up that hill. There's another turn here. We're not gonna go this way though. We're gonna continue on. You're gonna see the mountain right there. Just walked a little bit further. We were just around that corner. Anyway, so then we're coming to this V. And on this V, we're gonna be going left. Now this part used to always confuse me and I'd always walk way too far this way. So a good way to tell, you know, you guys could see it's a straight stretch. Here, you know, there's a turn and then it goes up. There's yellow paint. And then there's a stream right here. So don't follow the stream. Take the trail off the stream. I came here, came here with my lady there. I was, um, yeah, I recorded the whole thing. I only have one clip of us going down the hill. It's not even the good part. Um, no, it was just so perfect and dreamy. Like, I don't know, it was just perfect amount of fluffy snow and it's just all this fluffy snow flying all over and both of us just cruising at the same speed all the way down. Oh, it was awesome. No, I'm catching up. We weren't going super fast, but it's a good time. And, <laughs> oh, shit, and I accidentally deleted them, and I was only able to recover like three clips from that whole, this whole hike that we went on. It really sucked. Okay, so we made it to the turnoff. And the turnoff, before it wasn't like this, they didn't have this marking tape here, but so I'll back up so you guys could see. It'll be the first left, like right once, right once you guys take that left at that at that Y spot, you know, come all the way up the hill. It's quite a ways, and then uh, it's probably about 15 minutes up there. I want to go this way. Uh, we'll be coming back this way. Yeah, so I just pulled out the drone. Go to fly it. You now you guys can see that little chip. Go to fly it through that gap up there. GPS signal. You know, I, sh I should have waited. I don't know. At least I know now. But yeah, so when there's no GPS signal, it goes into Adi mode. Adi mode is basically like automatic sport mode. So it's really sensitive. I fly it up a little bit. Then it just, you know, it, it doesn't stay in one spot when you let go of the uh, thumbsticks. So then it's just. You know, you move it backwards, it'll just continuously go backwards, whether you take your thumbs, your thumbs off the thumbsticks or not. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna replace those right now. Now, yeah, this is definitely my first time replacing the wings. Yeah, that went in easy. Look at that. Yeah, so since, I've, since I'm not coming back this way, I already do have clips of me sliding all the way down this stuff. So I'll show that at the very end of the video. You know, I'll show all the clips of me going down this area first and then at the very, very end. Yeah, good thing I didn't uh, stand yeah, up since on I came this, here I just on, uh, Saturday at like 2 p.m. 
Now there's so many people. So now I'm gonna probably try changing it up. Usually I'd go on a Saturday around 10 a.m. or something like that. But now whenever I go on hikes, I think I'm just gonna go on um, weekdays. Of you guys, not me. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, so I was just chilling. These two trees, these would be perfect for a hammock. Should have brought my hammock. Set it up right here because it's got more than enough room. Jeez, I almost fall off the cliff. <laughs> um, yeah, it's got more than enough room. You know, you got you just hop on it right here. <clears throat> When you're getting out, yeah, you'll probably jump off about here, but I just hop off that side of the hammock. Perfect view. Yeah, so now that it's coming to springtime, I'm gonna be going to all the waterfall locations and all of that.
we're at the top now. It's the view. What's nice about this location is this right here. They got little tie offs. So they got this all along the whole mountain. We got them on like this side. I'll go up here so you guys can see. You won't be able to see because it's winter time, but they do rock climbing here. Yeah, across all here. They have all the tie offs, all the hook up carabiner things for rock climbing. All along here, it's just all covered up right now. And then over there, you guys could see the beaver dam. Got the beaver dam over there. Abandoned ski hill. It's a cool location. Um, yeah, it's an awesome view out here though. This whole area flooded with fog. I think I was here at like five or six in the morning at the top at that time. Um, and then all this fog is in here. It's just a, the whole, just a whole cloud of fog over the whole city. It's pretty sweet. I mean, you won't get it all the time. This whole area, you know, it's just fog just beneath the, just beneath the edge. It's pretty awesome though. Yeah, the two times I've been here, or two times that I have been here, um, found a geocache. You guys don't know what that is. It's a little, little box. It's just some adventure, adventurous thing. Like they got the geocache app. I like just, you know, stumbling upon them myself. But anyway, it's a little watertight container. And it's got a little note, notepad. And you just write down your name. And if you take something from it, you just leave something. So usually I'll just leave like a protein bar. It's pretty nice, you know, hopefully someone actually but actually eat it. Last time I was here and found one, I had left a cliff bar, mint chocolate protein cliff bar. So hopefully someone actually ate that because I really liked those at the time.